Okay, so we're just on the mastering diabetes, which was discussion about high carbohydrate diets, fruit, sugar, rice for the win. And uh, so we're over here in mastering diabetes, and then we're going to click over to PubMed, and this is high carbohydrate, high fiber for insulin treated men. And so they gave these people fruit, rice, sugar, aka the Walter Kempner, Dr. Kempner rice diet and they found that these people uh, they reduced their insulin and uh, you know just, they lost weight blah 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 blah. but what they did uh, what they did as well is they what they did is people said oh hang on was it the calorie restriction was it the, what was going on why did they reverse diabetes maybe they just weren't eating enough you know so what they did is they stuffed them stuffed them full of food as much food as they could handle and uh 70% of the calories come from carbs. So it's not even that low fat. It's 70%. I would say 90% come from carbs is, is better uh, in terms of higher carbohydrate intake. So they on 70% and uh, they had massive improvements there. Massive improvements. People got off their medication and uh, moderately high carbohydrate, high fiber diets can be followed at home. And that's the thing is that it is... Uh, High carbohydrate, high fiber diets have beneficial therapeutic effects for selected patients with diabetes mellitus. So this is a small one. You know, the metabolic ward means they're locked in, you know, fifteen months uh, plus at home. So they, I mean, this this accounts for people as well. Probably going to sneak it on the side. They still got incredible results there. So that's uh, you know, that's by done by Anderson back in the day. So this is the deal. Uh, I'll show you quickly rice diet, Kempner rice diet. Wait a second. Uh, so basically, Kempner is the <laughs> Kempner's the granddaddy. You got McDougal and Esselstein and Bernard and Ornish and all these people have been promoting over the last ten years. But really, the daddy of them all is Kempner, and I'm sure Kempner learned from someone else as well. So Kempner's diet was white rice, fruit, juice, and sugar. White, you know, and so basically as many calories as they wanted. And uh, they did they did they did two types. They did full on calorie restriction, and they did as much calories as you wanted. And they just got incredible results, um, just incredible results reversing heart disease, uh, rice diet components. We can click on this one here for a bit of a blow up. Here we go. Here, this is the this is the diet. So this is the average diet that patients are eating. You know, 100 grams of fat per day. So let's go back to here and uh, pause on that. And so there we go. See, this is the average. Average Australian, average American diet, the cause of obesity, 100 grams of fat a day, that's 700 grams of fat per week. Times that by four weeks in a month, that's 2.8 kilos of fat per month. You have to burn off. You gotta burn 2.8 kilos of excess fat per month to maintain your weight. Otherwise, that fat's going straight to fat. Yeah, Excess carbohydrate, you piss it out. Excess fat. There's no excess fat. There's no such thing as excess dietary fat because it's all getting stored as fat. So unless you're burning a ma massive amount of fat, unless you're like some extreme athlete, you're going to store a lot of fat and you're going to be bulking on that. Uh, I should say you're going to be, uh, what's the word? That's a better description. You're going to be storing the fat. Whatever athleticism, whatever you're doing, you've got to store the fat. That's how fat works. You store the fat you eat. The fat you eat is the fat you wear. So unless you're in some mad, mad calorie deficit, you're not going to get through all that fat you're eating and unless you're doing some crazy extreme exercise. Then, yeah, you can get away with 100 grams of fat a day for sure. Otherwise, you're going to be, you know, you're going to be bulking hard. So this is the diet, and then we've got the fruit diet over here, the rice, sugar, crepner diet. So this is your maintenance, 2,400 calories, give or take, depends on you know what what you're doing in your life. So, you know, a 10 year old kid might need less. Uh, a 50 year old man who's you know got three girlfriends and a wife might need more five grams of fat per day five grams of fat per day 25 grams of protein per day 565 so you know this is uh incredible so this is what do they reverse on this um you know what do they reverse and they reverse a lot no avocados why white rice because it's so low in protein um let's let's go over here mcdougal mcdougal credits a lot and uh, it's just so hypertension, things like that. So blood pressure, kidney failure, obesity, m reducing massive obesity. Can you even use the word massive obesity in 2019? Is that I'm a offended. is that is that going to offend people? So the average weight loss was 63 kilos. 
that's that's more than what Natasha weighs. That's about 10, 20 pounds heavier than Natasha is. Um, so that's fantastic there. So there you go. That's the deal. And you can look at my face. I just did one 15 minute climb tonight, and I've already I've already lost weight today just from riding up the hill. You can see my face is leaner in this camera here. So it's 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 crazy. Like if you that's why I'm about to go tuck into some ice cream, some vegan ice cream to, to restore some of the fat I lost today cruising around just doing some errands and then going up the up Norton Summit. There you go. That's the deal. It's the rice diet for diabetes. Boom. PubMed supports so it. We've got Mastering Diabetes, Robert Barbaro and the crew. There's, there's a little bit of contradiction there because I was talking to Robbie the other day and he says uh, they've got to update some of their charts. But this is the chart here. This is basically what I teach for people who want extreme weight loss is the rice diet. It's it, the, the cool thing is this is actually sustainable and it's tasty. I do recommend some soy sauce though, unless you have some kidney issues, but I do recommend some soy sauce, um, especially doing sport, just help that muscular contraction. But yeah, the sugar's great, the rice is great, the fruit's fantastic, and the fruit juice so is fantastic. It's just uh, easy to do. If you love sweets, man, you love the rice diet. And if you don't like sweet, you have your soy sauce and rice. Either way, it's a very good thing to try and go from there. It's very cheap as well. Very, very cheap. See you soon.